Well, hello there, little internet people. My name is Dave, and if you've discovered this video, you found me trying to test out some stuff so I can try and possibly maybe do a live thing later on. Well done. So, hello, yeah, I've downloaded OBS um, with the intention of trying to do maybe a live stream at some point. Uh, I've got a bit of hair stuck uh, to my head. There we go. Um, so you're going to notice this is going to be a little bit wobbly, and that's because I'm using my laptop, and my laptop's on my lap, so, you know, hence the term laptop. But we've got some little stunning effects like this. Oh, whoopash! Do you see that? That was alright, that was. I mean, let's go back to here. Oh, whoopash! Yeah, I've got no idea why I'd actually need that, um, but look, we've got little little social media things at the top there, you know, you've got your, your, your Twitter twatter, and you've got your... Um, your YouTube bit, which is possibly where you're finding this video. If you're not, you're finding it on Twitch, and I've never used Twitch before, so I don't know what that is. I mean, I've had Twitches, but I've never done it. But the reason we're doing this is because it's been a long time since I've done a Games of Yesteryear. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to load up one of the games we're going to play. That is not what we wanted to do. I uh, skipped through multiple screens there. Still getting the hang of this bullshit. This is what we want. It's got a Sega startup screen. It's got a Sonic Team Presents. It can only be... Yeah, it's that little blue gob shite. It is Sonic. The Master Drive. The Master Drive? No, the Mega Drive. The Master Race of console. That's right, the original Green Hill Zone. This is what spawned love for gamers. Years and years ago. This little blue wanker. Running around. Jumping on fat men's robots, trying to find his little bird mates, whilst trying to actively avoid getting crabs. Yeah, here we go. Sega's little blue ball bag mascot. It's amazing. And even in 2019, this game still looks wonderful. And it's it's just full of nostalgia. It's beautiful. Jump through Dr. Robotnik's big ring. Finger his big ring. Get involved. That's going to take us to a special stage. And if you're not too sure what the special... Spe yes. If you're not too sure what the special stage does, is in Sonic 1, it's this bad boy. Which is like a little maze that you've got to try and find a Chaos Emerald in. There it is. In verse say find, you've got to try and find it. Not that it was hard. You've also got to avoid going into the goal area like that. Um... So don't do that, because that ends the special stage, and you then cannot collect said Chaos Emerald, which in Sonic 1 I don't remember actually having anything to do with the game. I think last time I saw Chaos Emerald, or I collected all Chaos Emeralds, was Sonic 3, and you turned into Hypersonic, which was a super yellow version of this little blue bastard that also hated fat men and wanted to destroy all his little robots. Um, I think that's the first time in about 20 years that I've actually made that jump, so I'm proud of myself. And uh, down here. I mean, this was nothing like uh, Sonic 2 and the Master System. This was a game that I physically actually completed on countless number of times. Uh, there was no hang glider level, I didn't get stuck on that. There was no ridiculous first boss that I could never complete. It was uh, just good old solid fun. Alright, we're going to try and get the second Chaos Emerald. So we're going to jump and finger in Dr. Robotnik's big yellow massive ring. Uh, it's going to take us to the second special stage. Which, if I remember correctly, was a little bit difficult. Here it is. So try not to go in the goal, which is that. They say goal. It's not a goal, because the goal is to get the Chaos Emerald. Obviously the R uh, changes the, uh, the rotation of the map. And makes you go into the goal again. Um, so that's definitely how you don't get the Chaos Emeralds twice. It's a good job this isn't actually live. Um, like I said, I still don't know how to use Twitch. I did watch uh, my friend Simon uh, last night, or Midget Alien, if you care to find him on, uh, on Twitter and on Twitch. Go watch his streams. At the moment he's doing a stream where he's modded the living hell out of uh, Skyrim 
and he lets viewers control what happens in his game with the roll of a d20 dice. And if you're not too sure what a d20 dice is, use the internet, because uh, that's what it's for. Because we're about to kick the hell out of that big fat guy that I mentioned earlier. No, not Father Christmas. But uh, Mr. Robotnik... Sorry, Dr. Robotnik, he does have a PhD in being an asshole. Let's get me some of that. Sprint across there. Get some of them Sonic Rings, because we're going to need them. Just in case shit hits the fan, and we need to try and live past this. But, uh, everyone remembers the first boss from Sonic 1. Oh, don't miss that. It is essentially Dr. Robotnik swinging his dick around. Here he comes. Give him a couple of quick love taps before we start. That's three. There's his big balls. Oh, he's hit me with that. In with his balls. Oh, shit. I couldn't jump. He's going to get me again. No. He's gonna, he will get me there. Oh. Let's try and do this with no rings. No. He's got me. <sighs> Let's do that again. This time, we'll, uh, we'll do it properly. Again with no rings. I forgot that was a thing. So, hit him four times that. Get him with that. Get up there. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, no, I can't count. That was eight. So, eight times to uh, to batter Robotnik. He's going to fly off, and then we're going to free all of Sonic's little mates. And we're going to finish Green Hill Zone. Zone one of Sonic 1 on the Master System. Was not what we played. We actually played the Mega Drive version. So, uh... Ignore that. We've done it. We've done it. Now we get to the marble, uh, marble zone. But instead, we're going to do this. Whoopash! Apparently, that's called the stream intermission screen. Um, so we intermissionize what's going on there. Um, I kind of like this. Uh, it's a bit different to how I normally do it with a camera and stuff, which is over there. But I bought some strip LEDs to, to sort of lighten my face up. So you can see, so LEDs on, LEDs off. LEDs on. It looks kind of like you can see me, and I don't like that. So um, if you found this video, cheers for being part of my test. If you haven't found this video, then I'm not addressing you because there's no point. Uh, in that case, that's it, bye!